salutations what's going on so this is going to be uh this cool little thing that uh tony the prophecy came up with and if you're not subscribed to him go ahead and do so his channel will be in a link uh, down below and basically kind of like with shinobi strikers you can make your own ninja for the game and in xenoverse uh, one and two you can um for dragon ball you can make your own saiyan mechian yada yada make your own character we're kind of doing this like for one piece so so far i've seen tony's his was dope uh dustin dustin reacts had one his was mid i'm joking it's good it was good too and then i like i really like trent's so it's like you're kind of making your own little character and we're not gonna go like super in depth you don't want to know your backstory flashback history like no not all of that it's just simple it's like where would you come from what would you be like would you be a, a marine or pirate your proficiency in hockey your fighting style and would you and like what level fruit would you have so let's just get right into it Yeah, see, I ain't posing yeah. with the potion unless yeah. I wanna take yeah. a sip. Yeah, I'm pimp, yeah. make up on my back, yeah. but do not call yeah. me slick. So emotional. So, for where I hail from, it's gotta be my favorite place in the One Piece uh, universe world. I'm gonna be from the White Sea, White White Sea from above the clouds. I'm gonna be a Skypean. Um, specifically, I have the idea of I would be Birkin, and I would have survived the attack and the, uh, the destruction of the island of Burka. So, I'd have like a burnt wing. And a missing wing so i don't even have the full like you know like sky p and look well birkin look right so and like my interest in going to the blue sea to explore would be coming from hearing about the defeat of enel of enel and his um priests and then out of curiosity it was like time for me to leave the nest on some carrot shit like carrot's been stuck to Tunisia for so long she kind of wanted to go out and see the world it'd be my kind of thing like time to leave like the sky island and go down and see what the world has to offer so it's kind of like a curiosity i'm going on an adventure i'll be an adventurer but what i would be known as in the one piece world would be a bounty hunter because i need to eat right and now you know i'm not trying to work for the marines or anything like that i'm not gonna be a pirate i'm not gonna go around stealing and all that stuff right so i'm not gonna be a bandit either like higuma so for me it's like when I'm hungry on some Zoro shit, when he was looking for Mihawk, I'll just clap somebody, take the bounty, and go eat some food, right? Need a hotel money, some hotel money, you know what I'm saying? Need some booze money, you know? So that's kind of how I would see myself in that world, kind of just roaming free, doing my own thing. I'll be traveling by waiver. I would be bringing down tons of Skypea technology, various dials, waivers, and stuff like that. So my fighting style would be with sky warfare making the milky rolls with the dials and whatnot using you know things like maybe i have like a burn bazooka but like a burn pistol stuff like that but my main fighting style would be me having you know ohm remember ohm he had the eisen whip i would have something similar to that so but mine would be a scythe usually so using the iron cloud i would have like a scythe and i would have a, a, a contraction component where I could enter various dials, breath dials, flame dials to enhance and like cover it with like fire or electricity or something. So when I'm fighting with the scythe, I could also add elements to it. So you got to be aware of that. So that's kind of how my fighting style would be. Um, in terms of would I eat a devil fruit? I'm not eating devil fruit because I in real life I like to swim. I can swim, so I'm going to be swimming and going in the water and stuff. And when it comes to my proficiency in hockey, I like the idea that I have. I would have all three of them, but I would be a very good at mantra, right? So because I'm from Sky from Sky Island, so mantra observation hockey with my specialty. I'm not gonna say I can see into the future, at least not you know at the beginning, but definitely presence and being able to sense a large amount of people in aura and various uh, power levels would be what i specialize in so it'd be very hard to catch me off guard because mantra baby you know what i'm saying and like i wanted to think like i could add some add some ruby rose shit like add like a a gun component to my um to my scythe but now nah, like, i probably just have like a burn not bazooka but burn gun or something if i needed it to shoot somebody but yeah up close and personal with my hockey and iron um cloud scythe and shit like that yeah you can't be in the one piece world and not have like a character quirk or a signature laugh so as for my character quirk because I, i'm so curious about the world around me in the blue sea i feel like my quirk would be like i carry an obscenely absurdly large amount of shit with me like a huge huge backpack and like hella bags and like the thing that makes people like 
or, or stronger people know that I'm not weak is that I'm carrying this stuff with ease. But it's like, why does he have like rubber bands and rocks and all kinds of nonsense? Cause like things I've never seen before, I'm just carrying them with me. So that would be like my quirk. People are like, what the fuck's wrong with this guy? Why is he carrying the biggest bag I've ever seen in my life? After resting at your laugh, I don't know, maybe one of those Windex, like, like <laughs> yeah, Windex laugh, you know, I don't know, like something cool like that. Uh, but yeah, bounty hunter, man. Like when I'm hungry, I gotta eat. You gotta gotta get a hotel, all that stuff. I could see myself like being pretty naive. So if um I got caught slipping for whatever reason and I became a criminal, or I learned about like discrimination because I'm black, so I know I don't like racism and slavery and shit. I could see myself maybe later on the road during my character arc becoming a revolutionary or at least friends with them or tied to them or some shape or form. But bounty hunter is kind of where I'm floating at. I'm not gonna be a marine. I could be a pirate. I'm not gonna be. A band like Higuma. But yeah, man, that's about it. If you have like a character you want to create, man, do it in the comment section below or do it on Twitter or something. Man, it was fun. It was fun to do. Like, I was thinking about it like uh, for a while today and this is what I came up with. So, you know what I'm saying? 90 Hemmings. I don't know, like the unrelenting or something. I want a cool epithet because like the air is thin up there. I like the thing that I'm pretty no well known for is how good my stamina and endurance is because like. Remember when Luffy and Zoro went up there and they couldn't breathe properly because, yo, altitude training, like it's the air is thinner. So when I came back down here, it's like, yo, <sighs> oxygen for days. <laughs> Anyways, you guys have a good day. I'm going to be out. Yer. Sanaki, I go ghost. Soul and Marco cut your soul. Like Endeavor, I explode. Toradoki, I go cold. Posted up by my lonesome. Niggas at me when they want some. AKAR and they both dump it. Two hands and they both.